of the wall. It was much, much higher, of course, in the past. It was raided by the Normans to build their castles, by villages. Different people took it to build their farms, their cottages. as well. And it has been repaired here and there. But I'm just doing a small section of the wall today because I've got another place to visit further up, a larger place. But I thought I will just do a bit of a walk to get the feel of it. Peaks above up there. It's a shame to someone in the video, but um, you can't really do much there. So I've been in around the fort there and farmhouse. Um, every now and again, they would have these turrets, and then they would have a, a place where men were trained to fight, um, where they would eat, where they'd have their accommodation. And of course, that would have been all built up. They were quite civilised really, they had proper toilets and everything. Grain stores for their making their alcohol, making their bread, soups. Um, every now and again you see holes, but I mean I don't know if these are original holes that were put there, I would have thought so. For drainage, for that reasons, they thought of that so the walls wouldn't get all damp. Just imagine, 2,000 years old this wall is. 2,000 years. When Hadrian built it to keep out the heathens of the north. Apparently there wasn't an England or a Scotland in those days either. It was one country, but there's just different tribes. It became tribal, more tribal and divisions when the wall was built. It caused a lot of trouble for people either side of it then who started to fight each other. The Reavers. People in no man's land really. I expect there'll be a plaque up here in a minute. I'm just like I said, I'm just doing a bit of a wall there's no one about so that I can do a little bit of commentary. Imagine it would be very barren as well. Imagine this in the winter, how cold it would be. There's a village called Gillsland. She said it was only one and a half miles away. <laughs> 